Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. Um, this week I want to speak to you about finding happiness wherever you are in your life and with whatever is going on in your life. Because very often we search for happiness outside of us. Um, we search for things outside of us to make us feel happy. We search for relationships, for status, for cars or wealth or experiences. Um, we search for success, either physical success from exercise and comp competitions or from our jobs and our work. Um, we search for all sorts of different things to help us feel or things that we think will make us feel happy. But if you look back through your life and you look at the things that you've sought through your life that you thought were going to make you feel happy, um, for instance, the next new phone or the next nice set of clothes or a nice new car or a nice relationship or whatever it happens to be for you. When you look back on those things, try and have a look and see how long the actual happiness lasted, because Although those things give us a sense of feeling happy when they arrive in our lives, that happiness that we get, that initial happiness, that initial glow, quite often wears off quite quickly. And it's not really true happiness. Well, it is true happiness because happiness is actually just an emotion. And emotions, the way that we are actually designed, emotions don't stay for very long. They're very, really there to tell us or help us interpret what's going on in our external world. They give us feedback um, to let us know whether what's going on in our external world is something that supports us in our existence in this life or something that threatens us. So by their very nature, emotions come and go. What I want to share with you today is that happiness can be created from within yourself. It can cr be created from where you choose to focus your awareness. So you can either focus it on problems and things that aren't working, um, things that threaten you or frighten you, things that upset you, gossip, um, the news, whatever's going on in the news, the new latest thing that's terrifying and scary. Or you can choose to focus it on things that, that you actually get joy and happiness from. But instead of waiting for something to be fulfilled or given to you, you can choose to seek those moments of happiness. Um, I'm sure you most likely have heard of gratitude practices. This is something that you can do yourself to try and be the one to bring the happiness into your life. So the more you focus on things that you're grateful for or things that you appreciate, because that actually vibrates at a higher res resonance, at a higher energy level than actual gratitude. The more you focus on things like that, the more happiness you will allow into your life because you're choosing to focus on things that give you joy. And of course, when we're joyful, we're quite often happy. <laughs> Um, and there's so many things that you can be grateful for. For a moment, just sitting in the beautiful warm sunshine or the way that the light dapples through some leaves. I'm just thinking of things that give me joy and make me happy. But I'm sure you can find them yourselves. As I'm sitting here, there's sun shining through a crystal hanging on my window and it makes little rainbows all over the room. That gives me joy and happiness and I enjoy that. And when you have those moments, instead of just glancing over them and making a tick and going, OK, I'm grateful for this, take a little moment just to sit in that particular experience. And the more you sit in those experiences and allow yourself to enjoy the experiences, the more happiness you will build into your life. I actually started a gratitude group um, a couple of years ago on Facebook, and I'll put a link to it in the show notes below. And what I try to do, although I'm not active on it as much as I used to be because I've got a wonderful group of people who are helping me and um, they support me in it as well, is I try to look for at least five new things to be grateful for every single day. You don't have to do five, you can do two or three. But if you do it every single day, it becomes a habit. And what I found is that when I go out into the world, instead of looking for or allowing my mind to be sort of worrying on a problem or something that's going on in my life, which it can do if it's unregulated, it ends up trying to seek things to be joyful and happy for. As I said, for the way that the light falls through the, the leaves or the colour of the leaves in autumn or the way that the tree, I'm just thinking of driving at the moment, so I'm thinking of things I see when I drive or some beautiful poppies in the field or some birds or actually as I drove into town to drop my son off this morning, um, I noticed some sheep sitting in the shade under a beautiful big old tree and, and that made me happy. <laughs> So there's so many things that you can find joy and happiness in. 
but you have to choose to focus on those things. And the more you focus on them, the more that it becomes a habit to do that and the more joy and happiness you have in your life. I hope you've enjoyed this little episode today and I hope you have a fabulous week and I will see you again next week. If you want to find out about any of my coaching or any of my online programs, there are links in the show notes below. So much love from me to you. Bye-bye.